Good afternoon and welcome to Livestock TV. In this video, we are going to talk about space requirement for poultry. Space requirement for poultry. I want to find out from you, do you think that all types of birds require the same amount of space? What is the appropriate space needed by layers in order to do well to be productive? And what is the appropriate space needed by broilers to be able to do well in order to grow very well and then also get you the right cat that you want? I also want to find out, do you think that birds at, this, at different ages require the same space growing up? These and many more are the things you're going to find out if you watch this video to the end. So don't go anywhere, stay with me and let's discuss this. Thank you for staying with me. If this is your first time on the channel, I'll be glad if you could pause and subscribe to the channel. It wouldn't cost you much. Thank you. Now, there is one thing that each farmer or every farmer has to know. That's giving the appropriate space to your bed has an impact on the overall performance of your bed. Why am I saying this? Giving too much space to your bed could have a negative impact on their performance. The requirements for chickens are measured in square foot. So let's, let's explain what this meant by measuring the space in terms of square foot. So first, let's take our structure. After constructing our, our structure, that is the, the farmhouse, just move inside, go inside, start from one length to the other and measure the number of feet that you are going to get. So if, let's say from left to right, you measure and then write down the number of um, feet you're going to get for that measurement. Then from north to east, so probably top to down, or the width, you also measure and then get the number of feet you get for that particular side. When you are done, if for example you got 10 from north to south and then you also got 10 from east to west, it means that you're going to multiply the 10 by 10 and it's going to be 100. So what it means is that for that particular structure, you're going to get 100 square feet. You're going to get 100 square feet. So it goes in that order. It's very simple to be able to arrive or to calculate a square foot. So let's take the, the beds and their numbers and see the spaces that are required by, by each chick. So when you take layers, a layer from day one to the eighth week will require, that is for each chick, will require 0 0.6 square foot. 0 0.6 square foot. So if it is 0 0.6 square foot, I've already said we are going to use 1,000 beds as our, as our case study. So you multiply the 0 0.6 by the 1,000. And this is going to fetch you 600. So it means that from day one to week eight, if they are layers, it means that they require their thousand, they require 600 square feet. They require 600 square feet. Good. Now, from week nine to week 18, from week nine to week 18, each check will require 1.2 square feet. 1.2 square feet. That is the space that 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 your ch your chick will require in order to do well in order to feel comfortable so from week 9 to week 18 each chick will require 1.2 square feet so let's multiply that that by a thousand case study that is thousand beds when you do that you're going to get 1200 square feet 1200 square feet now from week 19 and above that is till they they leave the farm week 19 to with 19 and above, each bed will require 1.5 square foot in order to feel comfortable and then give you the result that you need. 1.5 square feet. So let's multiply by our thousand. And we are going to get 1,500 square feet. 1,500 square feet. So as I've already said, it is very easy to be able to measure the square feet. And then if you know the number of beds that you have, it's a matter of just doing your calculation. So 100, if you have 100 beds that are mature, that is above 19 um, weeks, it is the 1.5 square feet multiplied by 100, and you know what you're going to get. So it is that simple. Now moving on to broilers. Broilers require less space than layers in order to do well. The reason is that these beds are kept for their meat, and by the eighth week, you are supposed to get rid of your beds, or by you are supposed to sell them off. And so... They are meant to eat and grow faster so that you're able to sell them uh, on the eighth week. Right. So 
let's look at broilers. You know, I've already said that broilers are the days or the age of broilers are measured in terms of days. So broilers from day one to day 18 require that is each bed will require 0 0.5 square foot. 0 0.5 square foot. So multiplying that by our thousand bed case study, we are saying that if you have thousand beds, that is thousand broilers, they will require 500 square feet space. 500 square feet space. Let's move on to day 19 and above. Day 19 and above, that is still, you sell them up. Each chick or each bed will require 1.1 square feet. 1.1 square feet. So multiplied by 1,000, they, they are going to get 1,100 square feet. 1,100 square feet. And this space will be enough for your brothers to do well and also have some comfort on the farm. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to pass comments, and also share our videos. Bye-bye.